Getting started in the world of freelancing can be a bit intimidating at first, so I'm going to give you five steps in how to help you on your journey. Hey everyone, my name is Andy and today I'm going to be giving you five steps on how to get started in freelancing. Whether you're a software developer, a website designer, a graphic artist, an illustrator, all of these steps will still apply and are going to be great for you on your journey. So let's begin. Step one, build an online portfolio. Even if you've got no work to show yet, get a website, put it online. That way, when you start asking for work, when you start handing out business cards, the first thing people are gonna do is look you up online. And if you haven't got a website, they're gonna lose interest. It's 2022, everyone has a website. Make sure you've got one. Number two, make content for friends, family, small businesses in the area. If you're a website developer, build them websites. If they've already got a website, build a better one. Make it look nicer, make it faster, make it do more, give it all the bells and whistles. But whatever you do, don't give it to them for free. I'll explain why later on in this video. Number three, make a bunch of templates that you can use so when clients start asking you for work, you've got something you can quickly turn into a finished product with very little turnaround time. The best part about this is, if you make enough templates, you'll start getting so good at it, you'll be able to sell them on Gumroad. Number four, build an online presence. Get a Twitter account, a LinkedIn account, a YouTube account, anything just to spread the word about who you are and what you do. The bigger your online presence, the easier it's gonna be for potential clients to find you. Like I said in step one, having a website is a great way to get clients to look for you, especially if you're handing out business cards, but having an online presence away from your own personal website is also a great way of proving that you're good at what you do, especially if other users of the same website, say other people on Twitter or people on YouTube, comment saying that you're doing a great job. It's always fantastic to have validation, especially from your peers. And number five, know your worth. Never do anything for free. The temptation may be to say, well, I'm just starting out. No one's gonna pay me for it. But that's a really bad mindset to get trapped into. With freelancing, it can be a race to the bottom when it comes to getting a good client. But if you think that you're only worth 10 pounds an hour, you need to get more confidence in yourself. You need to go away, build more projects, and make sure you are comfortable enough to charge what you are worth. You might think no one's gonna pay 50 pounds an hour for a website developer, but you're wrong. People do pay that much money for a website developer. People do pay that much money for a graphic artist or an illustrator because they're worth it. By doing work for free, it shows that you're not confident in your abilities as a developer, as an artist, as an illustrator. You may think you're doing your friends and family and small businesses a favor by doing it for free, but I tell you this, they'll tell people that you do work for free then these people will come to you expecting work for free. Charge the minimum amount you think you're worth. If you think you're only worth 10 pounds, go away, do some more practice until you're ready. If you think you're worth 50 pounds an hour, by all means, ask that amount. You may not get it, but it shows that you're confident in your abilities, and that way you'll be able to get more work for you, and make your freelancing career more successful. So these were my five top tips to get started in the world of freelancing in 2022. Build an online portfolio, build for friends and families and small businesses, build templates you can deploy quickly, get an online presence and know your worth. These five steps will help you on your way to freelancing success. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe, leave a comment down below, I'd love to hear from you. It will only encourage me to do more videos like this more often. Check out my website, ambimill.io, and I will see you next time.